Hi, my name is Matt Moniz. I'm the science advisor for the radio show Spooky South Coast. I've been a scientist for going on 25 years. I attended school at places like the University of Massachusetts at Dartmouth and Harvard University. I've been a scientist and a paranormal researcher for a number of years. And there's one case that's always caught my mind, and that's the case of Roswell. Now, a lot of people think Roswell was just a crash of a balloon. Now, as a scientist, I look at that theory and I try and put the pieces together based on what has been provided by the people that were there. One thing that they all agree on, that something did crash and that object left debris 700 yards wide by about three quarters of a mile long. One of the theories is that it was a balloon. What I'm going to do now is show you by using example of scale that such a claim doesn't really scientifically hold any water. If you like, I'll show you. What I have here is a scale representation of the mogul balloon, which is what has been claimed to be the wreckage of Roswell. Now this balloon I made is made from this roughly the same exact materials as that exact balloon that is claimed to have been from Roswell. The foil is the same type of foil that comes out of a cigarette pack, which was the same use as the radar reflectors on the mogul balloon. Cord and a basically rubber balloon, which was what was used for the mogul itself. Although these exact dimensions are not truly to scale, it is a very good, close, and approximate representation using the same materials. Now it is this amount of surface area, which equates, when you calculate it all out, to maybe at most 200 square feet of material that is supposed to cover an area 700 yards wide by 300, I mean, three quarters of a mile long, which is approximately the same scale that we have here, this one eighth mile track. How this is supposed to fill all that. And somehow was mistaken by a rancher several individuals of the military in the world's foremost and most secured nuclear facility of its day, this somehow filled that and got confused. Now, one of the things is this thing Im impacted and left a trench. Well, a little something about lighter than air vehicles. As you will see, they don't crash that hard. Any questions? This is what happens when it's left. The debris cannot possibly cover an area that large, even if it is dragged by the winds in high speed. The amount of material it would take to cover an area that large is far more immense than the balloon scale that we have here. Ergo, mathematically, you can't fill this with that. Cool.